consuming Dumas' soul empowers you to wind a constricting band of spectral energy around your enemies. This energy manifests itself in both the spectral and material realms, and in the physical world, it can be employed to manipulate otherwise immovable objects. In the furthermost canyon of Nazgoth's frozen wastes, the hushed silences embrace an ancient enigma. In the bowels of this labyrinth, your master awaits. In the bowels of an inverted clockwork, the tormentor awaits. Be wary, Raziel. Those blind with rage are by destiny ensnared. The Oracle's Cave, where Cain's first fateful meeting with Mobius occurred. Mobius played the role of a doddering soothsayer, stirring his pot of visions while dispensing enigmatic predictions to gullible visitors. Underneath the facade was Mobius the Time Streamer, sorcerer of the Circle of Nine, a ruthless manipulator with the power to bend time. Since his murder at Cain's hand centuries ago, these caves have stood vacant, though, like Mobius himself, they are rumored to be only a facade for a much larger, more elaborate complex. I sensed that Cain was here, and at that moment, I would have plumbed the depths of hell to find him. This, I deduced, must be the man himself. The time streamer, Mobius. He seemed not at all the impressive figure I had imagined from Cain's boasted exploits. And yet, even this cold image radiated a certain undeniable power. age. What trickery is this? It is no illusion, Raziel, but a glimpse into the currents of time itself. This must be one of Cain's deceptions.
dogs with conflict? Does Cain await me moments from now? Or in some century yet to come? of my mind, or an echo of future events. At last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? No. I had faith in you. In your ability to hate. In your self-righteous indignation. Lies. You cannot have foreseen all of this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Gazing out across the plains of possibility, do you not feel, with all your soul, how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. And that is why, when I must sacrifice my children to the void, I can do so with a clear heart. Very poetic, Cain. But in the end, you offer no more than a convenient rationalization for your crimes. These chambers offer insight for those patient enough to look. In your haste to find me, perhaps you have not gazed deeply enough. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine a millennium ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. We are compelled ineluctably down preordained paths. Free will is an illusion. I have been to the tomb of Seraphan Cain. Your dirty secret is exposed. How could you transform a Seraphan priest into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Can you grasp the absurd beauty of the paradox? We are the same. Seraphan and vampire. With our holy wars, our obsession with Nosgoth's domination, who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? I will not applaud your clever blasphemy. The Seraphan were saviors, 
defending Nosgoth from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Seraphan were noble? Altruistic? <laughs> Don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. You are lost in a maze of moral relativism, Cain. These apparitions and portents. What game are you playing now? Destiny is a game, is it not? And now, you await my latest move. But this is not where, or how, it ends. Fate promises more twists before this drama unfolds completely. <laughs> Be warned, Raziel. Once you cross this threshold, you are beyond my influence. Raziel, Redeemer and Destroyer, Pawn and Messiah, welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. Where time is but a loop. A loose stitch in the universal cloth. A streamer might seize upon a chance, a fatal slip, and plunge the fate of planets into chaos. <laughs>